Next, we got Star Wars Women of the Galaxy by Amy Ratcliffe, foreword by Kathleen Kennedy. So, in this book, before I jump into it, I have to say, it's going to have tons of artwork, and each piece of artwork is going to have, you know, a bio with it and a couple pages attached, depending on the character. Also, this doesn't have all the women of Star Wars, just the current ones from the new trilogy and stuff, and shows, so... Just a forewarning if that's got you pissed off because it doesn't have the older stuff. Well, not a video for you to watch. So we got Ray on the cover. And we got the spine. We got Leia on the back. Now I'm going to do the back first because I want to show you this. This is the art. These are the artists that have contributed to this book. So we have Alice X. Zhang. Amy Beth Christensen. Annie Stoll, Annie Wu, Christina Chung, woo, Chrissy Chung, Ellie Bong, oh, Eli Baumgartner, go away, Elsa Carater, butchered the shit out of that, Genevieve Bowers, Jen Bartell, Jennifer. Aberyn Johnson, Jenny Parks, Karen Hallian. I know her because I've been following her for a long time. If you know who she is, cool. If you don't, uh, go watch Star Wars Celebration 2019 video. She was the one who got proposed to live on stage. We got little Corvus, Sarah Affigy. Sarah Kippen, and Sarah Wilkinson, and Viv Tanner. And there are 232 pages in this book. Now, I'm just going to go over the artwork part of it all. I'm not going to do the bios, not going to do anything else. Someone today would be nice. And this came out last year, 2018. What else we got for Carrie Fisher? Here's the table of contents. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have um, the older characters in this, but eh, oh well. So there's the full pick array. And of course, all those artists I showed you you can find them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So, you just type them in and look them up. And also, their pages are shown where their uh, art's at. I'll show that again then. So, there's Alia. Go away. There's more. There's Addy. Artwork in this book is all oh, so phenomenal. Ahsoka. Come on. There's Hall Vice Admiral Haldo. Adventurous. Yeah, the artwork in this book is just outstanding. Like, crazy outstanding. And Z from Star Wars Resistance. Laura Singh. Barris Ophi. Bazine Natel. And Baru. That's Karen's art style right there. Some of these characters I didn't even know. So, it, it was really a huge 
surprise to me as to who they were when I was reading through this. Mo this one I know. A lot of them I know because some of it was from uh, Aftermath Trilogy and uh, the newer stuff plus Rebels plus Kanan's backstory right here and whatnot. I never did read Dr. Apfer's story yet. I'm waiting for her stuff to be in a collected set so I can get it. But she does seem pretty interesting. Emphis Nest. And if you haven't seen Solo, there you go. Spoiler. And I don't know how to pronounce all these names, but some I know. There's Hera. So much beautiful artwork in this book. I mean, you think if they were going to do all the women of Star Wars, they would have, you know, included like Juno Eclipse, Callista, Admiral Dalla. Um, I'm trying to think of some others. Jaina Solo, Tahiri Vela. There's Jin. She looks badass. <laughs> That's cute. But yeah, if they had included the originals in here, it would have been really cool too. It would have been a bigger book. L3. Lady Proxima. Excuse me. A lot of the art in here is just so gorgeous, like, ah, oh, so good. <laughs> Maz. And there's also quotes attached to um, everybody, for the most part. Oh, Mothma. Mother Townsend. Nora Wexley. Numa. I do like the different art styles because every art style is different. No art style is always the same. They may borrow from each other, but you can tell who's got the hyper-realism going on and whose eidetic memory is better. This blew me away because that's what Phasma looks like without her helmet on. And this is from uh, her book, Phasma. Go away, Twitter. Kira.
R2KT. <laughs> Ray Sloan. Ray. <laughs> I don't know it's late in the video, but you should be watching this on your TV. <clears throat> you should be watching this on your TV. Yeah. Because, shit. <laughs> Where's Tico? It's amazing how some of these were done with oil, uh, colored pencils, pens, just everything. It always amazes me at how good artists really are with shit. Fuck off Twitter, I'll deal with you in a second. I love that they got whoever did this. Uh, I'll have to look that up then, because we're almost at the end. Chose this scene from the Clone Wars Volume 2. That was epic. Saw sister. I like her, she looks pretty cool. <laughs> I had no idea she had a name. <laughs> There's Torah. There's Trios. That's Ursula. A vow. I'm still kind of miffed they killed her off so quick in Solo. That really burned me up. <laughs> I mean, she had a good role, it's just it sucks that she got killed off so quick. And there's Zam. That's the last entry. Now I'm going to go over these again so you can see... Their page numbers go away. And it also shows, you know, what they contributed to in the past and present. Alrighty, so, oop, that is that, and that is the book, and there's the names of all the artists again, so, damn good book, would I recommend it to friends, duh, would I recommend it to you, yeah, of course, if you like the women of Star Wars and, you know, girl power and all that shit, definitely get this for your collection. It is a fine addition. Because I'm glad they finally got a book that showcases the women of Star Wars, which is really nice. I just wish this had included all the women of Star Wars, not just the new additions to the universe itself. Because if you don't include all the originals, then it's kind of empty. 
just like all the like the encyclopedias, the essential guides, the visual dictionaries, the incredible cross sections throughout the years that need to be brought together into bigger one volume sets and shit. So yeah, this is beautiful. It's a great book. It's a hell of an addition to the Star Wars universe. Um, I love the artists in this book. Karen's my number one, one of my number one favorites because I used to have I used to have a bunch of her stuff as my profile pic or cover photo or even my lock screen on my phone and background or whatever. Um, so you can find you can find these artists, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They're easy as hell to find. Um, you've probably even seen their artwork and didn't even realize it until you saw them. If you met them at conventions, awesome. If you didn't, you know, you can still do that. Some of them are still doing conventions, as far as I know. Um, so, that's that. So, I will be back in a little bit with another book, so stay tuned.